All right, in this video, we're going to do a brief uh, demonstration of Altran software. We're going to focus on some of the key components. Um, once we log into the software, we're brought right to the dispatch screen for the current day. The screen's going to display all of your current rides that have not been completed for the day. As the drivers use their driver portal and process trips, uh, complete trips, the trips fall off of this screen. So by the end of the day, you would expect to have a completely cleared off screen as all rides get uh, at least one action. And they'll either be complete, they'll be no showed, or they'll be canceled. So we're going to look at um, the list. Any of the items in blue can be updated. So if I need to update the leg status manually, I can do that. If I need to edit a trip, I can click on the insurance number and I can insert legs to make it a three, four, or five legged trip. Or I can edit a trip. And if it's a repeating appointment, and we'll, we'll show you how to create a repeating appointment shortly, but I have the ability to update the repeating appointment going forward uh, in, in the event or just save that one particular leg. We can also assign the driver from this screen if needed. Cancel, no show. We've got a feature called same day auto scheduling which will display you a list of the closest available drivers. Now the drivers have to be logged into the mobile app uh, for this information to populate. Uh, and then the trip also needs to be assigned to a driver that is logged into the mobile app to get an estimated time of arrival. We're going to look at how to manually add a ride. So if I click on add new ride, I can search by a client last name or a insurance number or a medical record number. So if I type in the last name of Luger, it's going to show me every client in the system with that last name. If I type in a partial insurance number, it's going to show me everyone in the system with that partial insurance number. So I'm just going to select a person and the top part shows the client demographics and I have the ability to put in client notes. The client notes will stay with this client for every future trip entry. So whatever you type into this box here, and this box can be expanded if there's more notes than in view, you can um, uh, have these notes tied to every single trip. You can edit the client information if you need to right from here. Um, you specify a pickup location. So we're going to pick them up from their home or maybe they have an alternative address. So if, if a person has an alternative, we can specify that here. If they have an alternative phone number, you can specify that as well. So if I update the alternative address, then I can utilize, utilize that as another pickup address for this member. Uh, if they're getting picked up from a hospital or a clinic, you can search the clinic list and, and choose the clinic or add a clinic if it's not in the table. So in this case, I'm going to pick them up from their home. I'm going to bring them to a clinic. Everything gets mileage calced with Google Maps, so I'm going to mileage calc that. The trip date's today on 11-4. We're scheduled to pick them up at 4 p.m. for a 4.30 p.m. appointment. Now this person is a common carrier, and we also can choose STS if they're a wheelchair. Now, since I have a common carrier payer selected, I'm not able to choose a wheelchair transport. Um, only I can only do that if I choose UCARE STS, special transportation, then I can choose wheelchair. And then I can specify if it's a side loading or rear loading wheelchair. I'm just going to update the insurance number for the new payer that I selected. 
Okay, some of these uh, flags w won't display if they're not necessary for you. Uh, we do have the option to, to bill and specify no load or deadhead miles if, if, it, if it's authorized. Uh, and we can also bill for and enter in wait time if it's needed. Uh, every, every one unit is a half an hour, so if I type in two, that's an hour of wait time. We have a place for clinic notes, so this note ties specifically to this clinic. We have leg and trip notes, so every leg you can specify a different note if you need to or, or for a trip. Specifically just for this one trip that may be different from the client notes above. And then finally we have office notes, and this is only these notes are only viewable by office staff. Now if, if the payer requires an authorization number, you have the ability to type it in here. If this is going to be a, just a round trip and the, the member is going to go back to their the, the same address as they were picked up from, uh, you don't need to specify anything. The system will create the return ride and you have the ability to specify those drop times if you need to. If it's a one if it's a one way trip, you, you check one way. If it's multiple destinations, for example, they're going to go to the clinic, then to the pharmacy, then back home, you can uh, specify multiple destinations and, and cycle through each leg to, to build that. So if I hit add next trip, it's going to create a round trip, uh, pull up a blank screen so I can enter another. If I hit save and close, it's going to do the same, but it's going to close and bring me back to the dispatch screen. If I hit save and repeat, this, this is where I can create a repeating appointment. So I can specify my date range, so from 11.05 to 11.30, and maybe this person goes Monday, Wednesday, Friday, every week, and I can create the appointments. And now we've got a repeating appointment in for Dan, so if I go look at the next Friday, you'll see that we have a ride in here for Dan. And again, if I need to edit this appointment, I can do that and then update the repeating appointment. You have the ability to, to modify the columns. Uh, each user can modify the columns, so maybe they don't need to see certain data elements on the screen. Uh, if you click on Add Column, you can add or remove certain elements uh, if, if you need to. Uh, filtering is pretty simple. Essentially, you choose as many filters as you want and specify their criteria. So if I want to filter by a client, I can type in uh, a partial name. And then if I want to filter by a payer, I can do that. And I can remove the filters as well. We've got two more features on the dispatch screen that I, I want to go over. Um, we have a, a calendar scheduler and then we have a live map view of, of the drivers. So right now I don't have any drivers logged in, uh, but if I did, we would see how many were online. And I'll, I'll log in as a driver here shortly and we can, we can go through that. Um, but we're able to see where drivers are as long as they're logged into the mobile app we can find their locations. And then we finally we have a, a calendar scheduler. And what this displays are on the left hand side you can filter your non-scheduled trips by a mobility or you can set up different locations if you need to or you can filter for a certain client. We can create different driver groups so if you wanted to group drivers up in different areas, you have the flexibility to do that. Uh, and just by clicking driver groups and adding a group and, and assigning a driver to it. We can um, keep track of the, the driver availability. So if you wanted to specify when a driver was available, you can do that here. If a driver is not available, you won't be able to assign a trip to the driver on the calendar can also record and keep track of driver time off. So you can block a full day or unblock, block a partial day, or, or block a full week if you need to. And any time that's blocked off for the driver for vacation or whatever the case may be, 
uh, you won't be able to assign a trip to a driver, to that particular driver. Now in here you can drag and drop. So if I drag and drop this four o'clock appointment uh, onto Adam's name, we can see that it's, it's now assigned to Adam. And Adam, the driver, will then get a, a, a push notification that a, a new ride's been assigned to them through their app. You can click on the block to see more details of the trip. You can edit trips in here, uh, cancel and no-show. You can also uh, slide the trip from Adam down to Jacob if you need to reassign it. We're going to go back to the main dispatch screen, and that pretty much covers the dispatch screen. Uh, now, I mentioned that we have the ability to add new rides manually, and we're going to jump down to imports. We also have the ability to import rides into the system. And right now, we've got a number of different imports available. If if the the ability to import other rides are there, we we will we can certainly accommodate that. So if there's an import that's not listed into the screen, as long as we get uh, sample data for the import and, and, and some uh, rules behind the import, we can build that into the system so you can import your rides to eliminate the manual data entry. Uh, so once that would be built out, let's say if you're going to import MTM, for example, you would choose the appropriate MTM and grab the file, import, and the rides are in the system. For specifically Blue Cross Blue Shield of uh, Minnesota, we also have uh, imported trips for providers in the background running on a, a FTP. So essentially every 10 minutes we go to a provider's mailbox, pull down trips, analyze them, import them, and send out uh, notifications of any ASAP trips, any trips that had any issues uh, and that we couldn't import. Uh, and then there's, that's nice because there's no intervention. You, the trips just show up into the system without having to download, import the rides. And then we're going to look at uh, a couple of ways just to really to schedule rides. And, and the, first one, the first one I already touched on, and that's calendar scheduling. Um, and then we've got a few other options. Really, almost any place you go to in here, you have the ability to assign a, a, a driver. Um, so we also have uh, what we call trip lists. And you can display any da uh, date range. So let's say we're going to look at everything for tomorrow. And it's going to show you all the trips in, in the list. And you you have the ability to select multiple legs in here um, or you can just say show me leg one maybe you only schedule out leg one and everything else is is uh, uh, will call and dispatched so you can select multiple legs in here and then bulk assign a driver to all of those legs that you've selected um, and all of these uh, fields can be sorted uh, to, to to help with with the scheduling process and if you click on any of the addresses in here as well um, it will direct you to to a map as well so here you can see that one driver is online for example and I want to see where he that person is at and they're pretty far away by the looks of it of it um, if certain payer, and then in here, if certain payers require an authorization, it, it displays an orange. Um, and you can click the auth missing filter, and that will allow you to go through and enter in any missing authorizations uh, that, that may be needed. We also have a, a scheduling screen, and this is probably less commonly used than the other uh, calendar and the trip, uh, trip list method. Uh, but essentially on the top of the screen it shows you all of your unscheduled rides uh, or rides that need to be scheduled to drivers. Down below you can look at a certain driver's schedule for, for a certain day um, and if, if they have to see what rides they have assigned. 
Um, but honestly, people would mostly use the calendar scheduler. The one nice feature in here is you have the ability to, to set default drivers and manage that process. So if, um, if Aaron here had, um, we can choose a client here. So let me choose a client. So if, if Aaron Luger is always taken by Adam, we can make that assignment. So every time you add a trip into the system, um, Adam will be assigned to, Adam the driver will be assigned to Aaron the client. And you can unassign that, uh, reassign it, and manage that process uh, as, as needed. A short break, and when we come back, we're going to take a look at um, our credentialing uh, feature for drivers and vehicles and uh, the, the tracking. And that should then finish up our demonstration uh, for this video. So we'll, we'll return here. We'll take a five minute break. Okay, welcome back. We're going to uh, take a look at uh, credentialing. So if I click on our admin tab, um, there's some features here that allows you to, to update or, or address some settings. Um, we also have the ability to, to track W-2 payroll. Uh, so we have a clock in, clock out feature on the driver app um, that will allow you to, to review captured times. You can modify the calendar colors uh, so they represent um, uh, what you want them to represent in the calendar. And if we look at credentialing, uh, we can we can add any any number of credentialing items. So if I wanted to do DOT inspection, for example, and that needs to be done every year, and I want to get notified every 45 days, and that's a driver uh, inspection, I can save and close that. So you can uh, customize, add your own list of items to track. Then if we go over to, to drivers, uh, and if I look at Adam. You can see we've got one in here right now, but we can also add add one. And if it started, you know, if they were inspected last on the, the first of the year, and then the system will populate the remainder of the dates. And then you can also choose a file and and upload a document against this um, credentialed item if you if you want to view it later. Uh, so if we save that, that will be here. Now, if we go back to admin, it's going to list everything here in one place for all your drivers, all your vehicles, all your company credentialing items. So if there's an image that exists, you can click on that and it would show you. Um, and this was just an image that wasn't uploaded. You can edit and renew it from here or you can export it out to a CSV to work on it. So essentially this inspection you know, expires this date. And, and I was asked to notify on this date and I'm looking at coming up due. So I can say, show me everything that's coming up due, that's due or that's overdue too. So uh, as a quick overview, we kind of touched on some of the key pieces uh, for uh, a, dis a, a provider to dispatch, schedule, add rides, kind of manage their day-to-day -day operations with uh, the Altran software platform. So please feel free to let us know if there's any questions. Um, and we're going to uh, move on to our next video of a demonstration on our mobile driver app. Thank you.